What's good, YouTube? Super 31, and we are back in the building with an iOS recording. Yes, sir. We finally got the display recorder back. We're back on shoe. If you want to know how I did it, leave a comment down below. Get this video 20. Give me like 20 plus likes, and I'll do a video showing you how did I get shoe back. Now, as far as you may know, this is the game rust survival a lot of people ask me what happened to this they thought it was finished it was finished for a minute because at the time it said that this is only out for the ipad you couldn't play it on the um, iphone but then i guess they fixed it so now it's back on the iphone it has some updates that i want to show you guys so let's get started now you might already look down in my hood but let me show you anyway this right here you cannot make it i'm not 100 percent sure but i killed some zombies the night before and I got this. This is a nail, a bat with nails on it. Got some blood on it. See from killing the zombies. And it, it fell off a zombie. I killed them and picked it up. And this is what it is. Now this is something else I got off a zombie. Yeah, you see that. That's a machete right there. Now, let me show you the power in these two weapons. These are only two new things that I've noticed so far with the game. Um, ooh, the clouds look like they're moving. Now, the last... Ones we did, you know, I had built a, a whole fort, but this one I just did a little shelter, nothing major. Um, I want to get it to a bear. Oh, hold on. Two, three, four, five. Okay, it took five to kill him, right? Now I'm going to switch this over out. One, two, three. See that? Oh, man. They go over. Okay. <laughs> now, you see it took five to kill the wolf with the bat. The way a wolf, whatever you want to call him. And it took three hits to kill him with the machete. I noticed that the machete is much faster. Now, I wish there was more bears right here, but we have one. Let's try to get his attention. Oh, look. Okay, here goes another wolf. One, two, three, dead. Let me pick that up. Here you go, the food you can get. Come on, bear. See how fast it kills the bear? Now we find another one. I'm going to use the bat. And the bat takes like four, five hits to kill a bear. I don't see another one over here. There's a lot of animals over here. Alright, but as far as the update goes, I haven't seen none. Now, um, the other game, The Wild, I did a video on it. Oh, there goes the bear right there. I did a video on The Wild. Let me see how fast I kill him. Three hits. Same as everything else. I right, I did a video on The Wild. Um, I'm still waiting for the next beta. Just in case you was wondering. One. Oh, no. I was supposed to use in the bat, right? Ah, ouch. Okay, we got, there goes another bear, but we can't get to it because he's over there by radiation. Did I pick that food up? No, I didn't. I thought I felt something coming behind me. Not like that, y'all. Not like that. See, he's over there, so we can't get to him. See, that's what I like about the wild because there's no limit. See, this is a limit. You can't even go past here. And that's not even radiation. No, it is something blocking. Like a, a visible wall, a force field <laughs> type thing. Anyway, um, that's what I like about the wild. Because the wild has no limitations. Now, the only thing I don't like about the wild is that weather. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's snow down there because it's doing real-time weather. Like, you know, we're in a snowy month. So maybe that's why the game has snow around it. I was looking for dry land. That's what I want to play on. The next update is supposed to be be able to hunt, and you can see how the bears react to the deer, so how they kill them and stuff like that. That's another bear right there. Let's get this one. Okay, remember it's three hits with the um the machete. Okay, you ready? Oh, lag. One, two. So I start lagging. Three, four, five. Okay, so the machete is much better now. Is it durability in these weapons? I'm lagging over here. Let me get it back over this side. 
Um, I don't know if there's going to be like special. How can I say it? Like, do weapons last long or do they break, wore out, stuff like that? I don't know. Not 100% sure. Just go inside and cook. And y'all can see what the inside of my place look like. Nothing major, you know, as always. But we could cook this food up. Okay, what's going on? Game messing up a little bit. 57 pieces? That's impossible. I might have it, though. Who knows? Oh, I do. Oh, we got food for days. Oh, forgot. We got hit it twice. Look at that. 77 pieces of food. Now, the chest still doesn't work. I made another one. Still no option to get in the chest. Um, we still got the same old bed, crab the bench, furnace, you know, that stuff. Go. So, I'm, I'm kind of mad we don't have that file no more of, you know, the place I built before. Cause that took a lot of work and I put a lot of effort in it. And I had the revolver. Y'all remember that? I was able to shoot through the window. But they're still updating this game. So this game is fun. Don't get it wrong. I'm, I'm still waiting to see if they're going to make it multiplayer. And they're going to stretch it out more. Give it some unlimited land. Minecraft is unlimited now. Pocket Edition. You know, we got Survival Craft is unlimited. This is not as powerful as those games. Cause remember, they have a lot of crafting and, you know different type of mods and all that other stuff so there should be no reason why we only getting this little square foot inches of stuff of area to play on they should stretch it out a little more if you watching developers come on man stretch this out but it is a fun game i love it i'm not even mad about that i'm kind of upset about that but i'm not mad about it but just give us a little more room to work with and throw some multiplayer up in here i mean right now i really don't need multiplayer that's not the major thing, because what can multiplayer do in this small little environment? Like, we all going to bump heads and just be fighting each other like, ah, oh, well, I can use this now, because, you know, I got something powerful. But we all going to be bumping heads now. You stretch it out and give it that limited source, then it'd be better. Because don't forget, the wild is still working on this. Now, I, had, I got some more news. I know I was, was going to cut this video short, but I just remember something. H1Z1. I'm pretty sure y'all heard me talk about that. The game is going to come out for the PS um, PlayStation 4. It's a Sony game. Just like DayZ and all that other stuff. Survival simulator type thing. Um, I watched a video from Machinima and they said that it's not good. Now, I've been watching it on Twitch. I know it has little bugs and stuff, but I don't know. Machinima says it's not good. Um, don't pay for it. If you already did, I think you get your money back. And just wait for the the alpha to come out. Because the alpha is going to be free. Right now you got to pay to pay pay to play on the beta. Which is crazy. But I don't know. It's a lot of games similar to this. I mean I think DayZ really started it off. If I'm not mistaken. But it's so many games out. And now mobile is doing it. So we this one right now to me is the best one. Besides the wild. I think the wild is going to be better. But as far as now, since the Wild is only an alpha built, I mean a beta built, I think this one is the best one. I mean, it has the zombies already that come out at night, and you got your mods that attack you during the day, you know, your animals. So, and you can build, craft, find things. You know, I like, I love similar, similar, simulation games like this. So, anyway, on that note, I'm glad I'll be able to record again. It feels so good. So, peace, YouTube. Swippic31, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Get out of my house. Get out. Closing door in your face. Bye.